how to use the JFrog plugin in Jenkins. In a previous video, I talked about how to configure Artifactory in Jenkins. In that video, I used the JFrog CLI. Back in October of 2022, JFrog released the JFrog plugin for Jenkins, which actually simplifies many of the steps that I did in that previous video. Let's take a look and see how this plugin works. So here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller, version 2.375.1. I've also got a local version of Artifactory running on my machine. So before we actually install the plugin on our controller, let's take a look at the documentation for the plugin. You can take a look at it at plugins.jenkins.io slash jfrog. So here are the steps that we're going to do to get this plugin installed and configured. So we're going to install the plugin, then we're going to configure the details for our system, and then we're going to set up the jfrog CLI as a tool within our controller. Then we will go ahead and run a sample pipeline to show how the JF step, which is a step that's available through the JFrog plugin, and see how it works within my environment. So let's go back over to our controller. We'll go to Manage Jenkins. We'll go to Manage Plugins. We'll go to Available Plugins. And let's search for JFrog. We'll see at time of recording, the version of the JFrog plugin is 1.0.3. We'll click on Install, click on Download Now and Install After Restart, and click on Restart. Now that we're logged back in, let's go back over to Manage Jenkins. Let's click on Manage Plugins, Installed Plugins, and let's verify that the plugin is installed. And we can see now that the JFrog plugin is installed. Now, before we go and set up our connection to our Artifactory instance, I'm going to go and set up a credential to be able to authenticate against that instance. So we'll go to Manage Jenkins, Manage Credentials, and click on Global and Add Credentials. The type of credential that I need to use is username and password. So in my case, my username is admin. I'm going to set my password. I'm going to call this JFrog plugin and give it a description of also JFrog plugin and click on create. Now let's go back into manage Jenkins, configure system, and let's configure our connection over to our instance. So we'll go down to the JFrog plugin configuration. We'll click on Add JFrog Platform Instance. My server ID, just giving you the name, is Artifactory1. My platform URL, in my case, is just my Artifactory Instance URL. I'm going to go ahead and select my JFrog plugin credential that I just created. Now, there are some other options for advanced configuration. We don't need to fill these out for my use case. Let's go ahead and click on Save. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the job that was defined over in the plugin section here. This is what I've defined over in mine with a couple of small tweaks that is specific to my environment. So we can see here from the configuration that I need to use a tool called JFrog CLI Latest. Well, I haven't defined this tool yet, so let's go and do that next. So I'm gonna copy JFrog CLI Latest. We'll go back to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, Global Tool Configuration. We'll scroll to the bottom of the page, and we should see JFrog CLI. We'll click on Add JFrog CLI, and the name that I want to give it is the one I just copied from the job, JFrog CLI Latest. Now notice that we're installing automatically. We're installing from releases.jfrog.io. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Save, and then let's go back over to our job. We'll go to JF and click on Build Now. Now as this job runs, what we're going to see is that since the tool has not been downloaded, the tool is going to get installed. We can see this step here, declarative tool install. So it's downloading the latest version from releases.jfrog.io. It installed everything for us, and then we start running the commands. Now, within our pipeline, we'll take a look at it from here. We're doing a jf-v, a jfc show, a jfrt ping, and then we're creating a file and pushing it up to Artifactory, along with the build info. Now, if you've used the jfrog CLI at all, you'll notice that basically all we're doing is calling each of the commands that are necessary for the JFrog CLI. So all the JF step is doing is wrapping the JFrog CLI. So if you're used to using the JFrog CLI, now you can just do that within your Jenkins pipeline without having to just call an SH step with the JFrog CLI explicitly. So if we take a look at the output here, we can see that we did JFC add artifactory one. This was during the setup. 
Your configured JFrog URL uses an insecure HTTP connection. That's fine. Now we get into the real pipeline. So up to this point, this was installing the tool and getting it configured. Now we're getting into the pipeline where we're calling JF-V. So we see the output of JF is 230. Then we run JFC show. It shows us all of our information. Now let's get into the rest of the call. We do an RT ping. So RT for JFrog is for Artifactory. So we're doing a ping against our Artifactory instance. We get back an OK. We touch a file, so test file. And from there, we do a JF RTU. Now RT, again, is Artifactory. U is upload. We tell it which file to upload and where to upload it. In my case, with Artifactory OSS, there's already a built-in example repo local. So if we expand here on example repo local, now we have test file. If we go back into our job one more time, the next step and final step was to upload the build info, RTBP. And that goes into the Artifactory build info artifact. If we take a look at JF, then we can see the JSON file that was uploaded for that build information. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.